All right, let's talk about Dalton Kincaid, first round pick of the Buffalo Bills, a player who a lot of people were very high on the tight end, and I wanted to see how he was going to play in this game. So uh, we're, let's talk about what he did, and he really did show a lot of nice things, I thought, for Buffalo. Like this play, it's going to be a uh, cover two man play, so it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup. That's the route he's running over the middle of the field. One slight under, you know, this is completely irrelevant to the play, but just something I noticed on this play. By my count, there's just 10 guys uh, on the uh, offense for Buffalo. I don't see, you know, I was trying to see if someone was like hiding in the offensive line uh, and there was more than five guys there, but no, I see five guys there. I see three players lined up at the line and then, uh, you know, the quarterback and then one half back in the backfield. That makes 10. Not sure exactly what's going on there, Buffalo. Um, you know, you're allowed 11 guys, uh, probably just an error uh, in getting the play set up. But regardless, you're going to see that when this play begins, it's Kincaid's route running that, you know, that's why many people, including myself, had him as the number one tight end in this draft class and why he was the first, number one tight end drafted in this draft class, largely due to his route running, I think is the, probably his best attribute. And he really showed it off in a big way, I thought, in this game where, uh, you know, he's not really giving away what he's doing. He's sort of, you know, faking as though it could be going in either direction. And then when he does cut over the middle, he's able to get a pretty clear window and pick up an easy eight yards. So, hey, they didn't even need 11 guys on that play because uh, Kincaid was able to win his own one-on-one -on -one matchup. Although I would still recommend uh, having 11 guys on the field if you're Buffalo. But it really is those types of things that he does so consistently. Again, it's not just that he can show off these highlight real level route running plays, which, I mean, to me, that is a highlight real level route running play, right? I mean, uh, you know, for a tight end to be able to pull that kind of stuff off, like that's like a wide receiver level route running that he's pulling off as a tight end. It happened in smaller ways as well. Something like this is definitely a small way where he's able to, again, show off his route running a little bit. We'll watch what he does. Watch the beginning part of that route. Watch how he doesn't give anything away until he cuts. You know, he was open, ball went somewhere else, which was, you know, fine, fine read, uh, no issue there. But, you know, he was able to get open largely due to that route running. And it's, you know, I always bring up Julian Edelman as the example because to me he is the best, to, you know, that I've seen do it of like that beginning part of the route, the sort of, they call it a stem portion of the route, right? Think about the route tree. Well, what is the stem of it? So the part where you just go straight up before you make your move, ideally you want to give nothing away during that portion of the route. If you can do that, you're going to really help yourself out. And Kincaid just does an incredible job at that stem portion of his route. But also in ways like this, where, okay, it's once again going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup, although this time Buffalo going with the strategy of having uh, 11 players on the field, so interesting idea there. But still, you see the route, and listen, I should mention, this play, just like the first play I showed you, on paper are good plays. These are plays that you kind of not expect to see a tight end win on, but it's something you really hope they can win on. And, you know, a lot of times in football, this is what you need someone to be able to win on, right? Because, you know, teams are paying so much attention to the outside covering the number one and number two receivers uh, for a team. So the third option often becomes very important. Uh, and so having a guy who can win in these spots is crucial. We'll watch how, again, Kincaid, like, like I said, doesn't give anything away, right? Not making it clear which direction he is going. So while the uh, corner has moved a little bit further in, uh, you see that Kincaid is still in position to potentially make a move. He's going to cut towards the middle of the field. I've already told you that that's where he's going to go. Um, and, you know, there's a little bit of a window, but here's where the other aspect comes in. Because, like, listen, uh, if you taught me to be the best route runner in football, the best route runner to ever live, I'm still never going to get open because I'm not fast enough and I don't, you know, I can't cut as well as uh, even most, you know, high school athletes, right? Like, you still do have to have the athletic traits on top of just being a good route runner. And for Kincaid, this is going to be the question we're going to ask here. Is when he cuts towards the bottom of the screen, he's going to have an inherent advantage because he knows what's going on. The defender covering him doesn't. But how much can he take advantage of that advantage? Well, as you see, this is an accurate throw, and he's able to just go off. I mean, he runs for a, a good chunk of yards on that. That was a second and 16, and he easily clears the first down marker, gets an extra five yards on top of it. So a 20-plus yard play on a play that really didn't have a, you know, it wasn't a, like a, an amazing situation going in, a one-on-one -on -one matchup. The odds of getting like eight yards on that play seemed pretty slim when it started, uh, although the odds of getting, you know, five yards seemed pretty high. And he was able to turn it into over 20. These are types of things that Buffalo is really hoping he can do for them. Also, a play like this, another passing play where what's going to happen is it's going to be a, a quick slant over the middle once again. So, hey, you know, 
Worth mentioning, this was seemingly a lot of what he was able to do was these over the middle routes against man coverage, but you know what's going to happen in football? You're going to have opportunities to run over the middle routes in, against man coverage. In fact, that's oftentimes the main thing you want to see a tight end be able to win at. So I wouldn't really consider that like a negative or like say that he's only good at one thing or anything like that because um, it's a very... It's a very common thing that teams will do. And, you know, uh, anyways, let's see what he's going to do on this play. So quarterback takes a snap and you see Kincaid again. Hey, look at that. Not giving anything away right away to the point where you see the linebacker covering him. Look at his hips. I mean, he's turned towards the top of the screen when, you know, Kincaid kind of faked a little bit as though he was going towards the sideline. It worked. I mean, he has uh, a good opportunity now to get over the middle of the field and gain some separation. And watch how, I mean, he gets so open. You would have thought that was zone at first glance with how open he gets on that play. I mean, that was impressive by Kincaid. And it's still that footwork that's really just so impressive. Because like I said, you know, route running, obviously very important. And that does kind of separate the good from great players is route running. But you still have to have the footwork and the speed to pull off that route running and the footwork to be able to make those moves in that tight of a space. Not many players have that, but Kincaid does. Also, let's show a blocking play. I wasn't like blown away by his blocking necessarily, but you know, he, he showed some flashes on the screen. The way, you know, it's going to work is you see how, you know, he's the tight end who's going to go up and block, uh, you know, someone at the second level. Okay, cool. Let's see what happens. Watch how the ball is snapped. Kincaid gets up to the next level and he gets in really good position right here. I mean, this is that Definitely great position to try and pull off this block. So right off the bat, you might be looking at it and saying, oh, wow, well, then this was a great play, right? He finished off the block. Good work, Dalton Kincaid. Well, he didn't quite finish it off. I mean, you know, the linebacker was able to get around and try to get over and make a play. I would still say that's a relatively good play by Kincaid. But like I said, his blocking was fine. It wasn't anything great. It wasn't anything terrible. It was just fine. And this is kind of the best example I can find of just a fine blocked play, which to be honest... That's kind of all you need from him. I mean, he is a receiving tight end. That's what he's there for. But as long as he can just block well enough that, like, you know, sometimes you see players who they do one of the two aspects of tight end play uh, really well, but the other aspect not so well. Like, let's say they receive really well, but aren't a very good blocker. Then it kind of gives away what you're probably doing when that player goes on to the field. You know, if you take out a run blocking tight end for a pass uh, you know, catching tight end, it gives you a tell that it could be a passing play. It doesn't always work out that way, obviously. You could be, you know, kind of game theory, uh, trying to trick the, your opponent, but at least gives you a tell that there's a better chance that you're throwing the football. But Kincaid should be good enough that he can still be justified to put out, you know, you can still justify putting him out there on running plays, and it's not going to hurt you or anything. So, yeah, I mean, as a whole, very impressed with Kincaid so far, uh, you know, in this preseason game. I thought he looked really good and really showed the kind of guy that, uh, you know, we expected him to be when he got drafted and could be a great fit for the Buffalo Bills. So, yeah, those are kind of my thoughts. What are yours? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of Dalton Kincaid? Always love hearing from y'all, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.